What's going on everybody, it's Rev, and welcome back to another Dauntless video. You already know what it is, it's uh, the day of the patch, we're gonna be taking on Thrax, jumping into Umbral Escalation, I'll be doing that over there on Twitch, but I got a sword build for you here on YouTube, it will be in the description, but let's get right into the build and killing some Thrax. <laughs> Here we are on live. Y'all are going to be not very surprised with the armor choices here. Until you obtain some of the gear or cells that Thrax and this patch provide, uh, you're not going to be able to make the most powerful builds uh, in terms of like trial builds and stuff. But this build is specifically for getting you started in this escalation and getting you started on the right foot. And so we're using the Call of Dawn, my personal favorite sword, and I'm so happy to be able to utilize this sword now and have it be impactful. So we're using the Call of Dawn. I am utilizing Wild Frenzy. This Wild Frenzy cell can be substituted for Berserker if you're feeling up to it. You're gonna if you're at power level one or like the the amp boost one. It's going to be tough, and I highly recommend just sticking with Wild Frenzy until you're up to power boost two or power boost three and then you know you can sw make that swap once you get there but wild frenzy is a safe bet it's not going to lower your hp and give you that um, highly coveted attack speed that the sword needs to get avenging overdrive much quicker conduit no surprise here this is actually how the build um evolves after conduit and you obtain more cells with uh catalyst you're going to swap your conduit to catalyst and you'll be rocking pretty much the same build and the trials build is actually going to evolve even further and move you out of iceborne so avenging overdrive is our special here uh and then as well as we have the mod whistling blade let me get rid of some of these assets here so you guys can see we have avenging overdrive and whistling blade for the mod and special no surprise there, these have been very, very strong for Indauntless for a really long time. And uh, let's move on to the gear. We have the Skull Forge, a exotic helmet that is obtainable through uh, just running anything that's beyond heroic difficulty. So heroic, heroic plus, you can get them in escalation, you can get them in trials. It, it doesn't matter how you get it, it's all the same drop rate, just do hunts that are, whether they're easier or, or harder for you, just you'll get it eventually, but you gotta grind for it. And so the Skull Forge provides a stamina shield based on the amount of damage that we're dealing. This means that we can spam repeating elements. And we also have a Iceborne 3 cell, which is going to round out our Iceborne once we get to the next piece, which is Boreal Resolve. Boreal Resolve has an innate plus three rage on it. And uh, we also put in the plus three Iceborne into the defensive slot. Rounding out our Iceborne gives us the ability to stay alive when we're at lower power boosts and also at higher power boosts too. Sometimes there's going to be a little bit of shenanigans in Escalation. There's two behemoths on the field. There's going to be a lot of need for that uh, extra life seal and damage reduction. Uh, moving on to the gloves, we have Nasher Grips, which have Rage Hunter. Rage Hunter is the sword's kind of pride and joy, and I, I, I'm favoring it more in... Uh, than overpower in, in days of late so i i prefer rage hunter over overpower and that's just because most behemoths are going to enrage regardless but uh you can you can swap this out entirely for overpower if that's what you like i typically will go for just passive damage thrax tends to enrage a lot more than it gets like interrupted so um i prefer that extra damage there the uh, Volcanic Treads are our boots, giving us plus three rage and how we activate Discipline. Discipline uh, enables rage, it enables Iceborne, and also lets us operate at a lower life uh, threshold so we can activate Wild Frenzy as well. Uh, we have the Draft's Eye as the Lantern of Choice with our Conduit 3 cell. This rounds out the build to, uh, with our Conduit 6. And we have the Damage Dealing Tap attached to the dress eye the lantern is pretty much always your choice but i would suggest against ember main just because we have a lot of attack speed already through our uh conduit wild frenzy as well as our tonics which we're using frenzy tonic blitz tonic and aether drive tonic um 
there are some other builds out there with stamina tonics, but that drops the Skull Forge, and I, I'm I'm not a big fan of those builds, so I would uh, I would stick with the Skull Forge so we can keep that easy Iceborne. So this comes to the total build of six Conduit, six Iceborne, six Rage, six Rage Hunter, three Cunning, three Discipline, three Wild Frenzy for a nice spread of damage, survivability, and attack speed. As a little bit of extra credit, this is something that you can do as a returning player on the 11th. You can go to your cell uh, core breaker and open up your daily logging cores. And you can also open up your utility cores. Uh, let's see, do I have any utility cores? I do not. That's unfortunate. But if you have any of the utility cores, you'll be assured to get a utility type cell and you can try and fish for Catalyst, and Catalyst is really freaking strong. Like I said, you just replace it with the Conduit, and that'll be a stronger build. Make sure you're popping your potions, though. Like that, Catalyst doesn't work if you don't use your potions, so use your potions. So uh, that's the build, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this build uh, helps you. Uh, let me know. Give me feedback on the builds if you're using them, if you're not using them. Uh, let me know, uh, you know, when you kill Thrax. But other than that, if you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm dropping a ton of Umbral Escalation content, and that'll be coming in through the days and, and weeks as the patch rolls out. Uh, you can use creator code REVIRED in the Dauntless in-game store or the Epic Games store. You can check me out on Twitch. I'll be live there. I'll be doing Hunt Pass giveaways on Twitter. All the socials will be in the description. But other than that, guys, have a great day. Enjoy the patch, and I will see you on the Shattered Isles.